here Shalini Mittal here from Tech Gatha and in this video we will see different ways of injecting the dependency that is HTTP client. We have seen that through XML we can inject dependency using Citrus HTTP client. Alternatively I can create a configuration file. So let us say new class and I will just give it a name as my config. It's spring, so it's actually easy. I'll just say at configuration and I'll have at bean annotation. So those who are comfortable using the spring syntax, they can work with this. I can say I want HTTP client and then I'll just print an SOP so you would know that the client is created. So this method gets called. I'll say return. Citrus, so we'll say citrus endpoints dot HTTP dot client dot you want to specify the request URL which remains the same as we gave over here. So let me just copy this so I don't make any mistakes in typing. And where is my config over here so I pass in this and I say dot build that's it so I can use at bean annotation and I can also inject the dependency this remains the same so we just have for test get customer by ID all other test cases are enabled as false okay so let's see if the customer client gets injected and then I'll say, so yeah, so HTTP client, let me run this. My REST API is still running on the browser. The server is up and running. So that shouldn't be an issue. Okay. Okay, so the reason we are getting this error is because it's not able to find this because it doesn't know it has to load the my config. So I need to inform Citrus about that. So we'll need to create a properties file and I'll say new other and file I'll give it a name as citrus application dot properties I do this I'll have to put a key value pair so I have to inform citrus about the java configuration file which is inside the package com dot citrus dot my project dot my config now I guess it should run so let me say run and let's see the output Okay, so we have the validation exception because I'm expecting name Giri CID3, but it was named Shalini CID1, and this is because in customer.json, if you remember, we had changed the values. But then, anyways, you can see that I'm able to make a request, right? So, if in just case you want it, I can change these and I say one. And if I run it again, in that case, the customer client is injected because citrus application dot properties we have configured application application related information so you would see yes it works and can you see client is created so configuration file is invoked and the client method is called in so this is one way that you can configure other way is if you don't want to use it this way let me just comment this out and here then i can just say So I will not use auto wired I will say at citrus endpoint and will have and we have at HTTP client config you can see it takes various parameters so let me provide the request URL is equals to and this URL is going to be the same we provided over here so let me just copy this and let me just paste over here okay so now let's see I'll execute and let's see if the client is injected so the test our test case should pass if it was able to access the customer client okay so we have an error okay it's validation exception now why expected name Shalini CID1 but was path error did I miss something copying? Oh, it's customers. See, 
Even after copy paste, I made a mistake. Yeah. So localhost eighty eighty eight slash customers. So let's see. Yes. So test case passes. So you can create a HTTP client using the XML if that is convenient to you. You can create a configuration file using at bean annotation, but don't forget to create a Citrus application dot properties and configure your configuration file and then it's auto wired or else I can just use at Citrus endpoint and I can configure it for the customer client dependency. So that's all about how do you write a Citrus test case for JSON. Next video we will cover about how to make a REST call for SOAP based web services passing in the XML file. Till then happy learning, take care and bye bye.